uh, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. Yes. I would like, I would like, if I may, to start this episode like I start so many of our episodes, like I have started so many, so so many of my episodes of these episodes of our episodes of this podcast by talking about people having sex in the state of Maine. In the state of Maine. Are you talking oh, no, about Maine's Okay, okay, wait. Are you talking about people in the state of Maine having sex or like are people traveling? Yes. No, no, people who live in the state of Maine who are doing I mean it. like I mean like are, are there is it like this couple in bed and the woman looks over and says you could fuck me anywhere you want. And then he says, Maine, get in the car. I want to fuck you in Maine. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, how many times I've started this show talking about the sex lives of people who live in Maine. It's just my thing. Yes. It's just what I do. So let's talk about Maine. I know a lot about Maine. I personally know a lot about Maine. Yeah. I, it's where... It's where all of the old white people go to live free range. <laughs> old white people are, are just raised free range in Maine. That, that's one thing I know about Maine. Yeah. I believe that Maine, I believe, I might be mistaken, but I believe that Maine is where Emily Gilmore now lives a lesbian life with her foreign maid. <laughs> I might be mistaken about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Pretty sure. I think you might be positive. right about that, yes. Yeah. I know that Maine is where all of the nation's lobsters come from. They yes. only come from Maine. Uh, and I've read a lot of books about Maine. I've read a lot of books about Maine. So I also know that Maine is where evil clowns lure kids into sewers to kill them. Yes. And Maine if you bury your child in certain spots, they come back. Exactly. Maine is where cars come to life and kill people. Yes. Another thing I know about Maine. Maine is where stores will magically appear overnight and they happen to sell your wildest dreams. But is it too good to be true? <laughs> so there's a lot wrong with Maine. There's yeah. there already. We've just begun to talk about Maine and already there's just a shit ton of problems yes, with the is. state of Maine. And now there's even more wrong with Maine, okay? Mm -hmm. So for a long time now, in Maine, which uh, coincidentally is the feel-me state. <laughs> again, I made that up, but it feels right. It does. It does. And in Trump's America, what feels right is more accurate than the actual facts. This is true. So Maine is the feel-me state. So for a long-ass time in Maine... Old people have been flocking to the state. They've been flocking to the state in droves. Meanwhile, young people have either been leaving Maine or just saying, oh, hell no, I'm not moving to Maine. <laughs> so, so as a result of this, the birth rate in Maine has been steadily declining, just going down and down and down and down and down and down and down. Meanwhile, the death rate has been going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So in 2013, it became official. The death rate in Maine was higher than the birth rate. Yes. In the state of Maine, more people died than were born. And from 2013 on, those numbers that intersected in 2013 kept going the way that they're going. So the, the, the birth rate numbers went down and down. Yeah. And the death rate numbers went up and up. So right now in Maine, more people are dying than being born. In Maine, state on the rise. I, I think we have to. It's night. We have to save Maine. It's night of the living old people over there right now. It's so so. It's a health crisis. It's a public health crisis. And so that gave me a great idea. That gave me a great idea on how to solve Maine's health crisis. Okay. And this idea. This idea came from another public health crisis that we have recently talked about here on the big show. Utah. Utah, yes. Recently announced that pornography is a public health crisis, so here's what we do. We go to Utah, 
and we round up all of their porn. Yes. Besides, they don't need it any. They don't need it anyway. They're Mormons. Pornography to them is a woman showing her ankles. Yes, yes, it is. So we go to Utah. We round up all of their porn, and in the interest of raising Maine's birth rate, we send it all to Maine. Yes. We send Maine all of Utah's porn. Hmm. 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 <laughs> That's a gold idea, right there. I, I that think is, that is a gold idea. That's freaking gold. We've solved Maine's public health crisis. Yes. Mm-hmm. But now now Utah, though, the only way I can see you declaring it a public health crisis is if all of Utah is sticky. You know, mm-hmm. if, you, if you just get off the plane and if you, your sneakers are sticking to the floor, okay, Utah may have a bit of a health, a health crisis here. Yeah. You know? But Maine, Maine just reminds me of, oh, God, this has got to be going back. I don't know if it's still going on, but remember when the Amish had to, had to like, call out to other Amish communities because the gene pool had gotten so shallow? <laughs> <sighs> so they had Good to, times. like, barter, like, like we will send you, send you 15 of our women... If yeah. you send us five of your males and two bulls, 